那他现在就开始录像了。OK, welcome everyone. 欢迎大家。Uh, thank you for joining us today, and I'm really delighted to be、um, to meet you all virtually and to talk to you about、um, insurance,、uh, autism insurance coverage. 那他就很高兴的今天能够跟大家在网上见面，然后讨论一下就是自闭症保险这方面的消息。Go ahead. So、um, today's presentation, I'm going to give an overview of insurance,、um, talk about different types of insurance that people might have,、um, and it will become clear why I'm doing that. And then I will talk about、um, ARICA, which is one of you know many acronyms that we use for,、um, but ARICA is the name of the law that requires private insurance to cover autism treatment.、Um, so、okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Every other three or four sentence, please. Ah, that he today will first say is a summary, then he will talk about the insurance type, 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 then he will talk about the 要涵盖就是自闭症的那些治疗治疗方式。Go ahead.、Um, then I'm going to talk about Mass Health、um, quite a bit.、Um, I'm assuming that、um, many people have、um, either Mass Health or Mass Health and private insurance.、Um, and so there's different types of Mass Health, and then there are different benefits available under Mass Health, and、um, a lot of supports for people. And that's now. Next. 嗯哼，对。那他也会讲到 Mass Health 的那个种类，因为可能很多家长都会有有可能不同的那个 Mass Health， 有一些可能就是纯粹的 Mass Health， 可能有些家长就是 Mass Health 再加私人保险的，因为不同的 Mass Health 它能够给付的东西都不一样的。Go ahead. Um, and then um. I'm going to talk a little bit about some new、um, child adolescent mental health services that are not、um, not just for people with autism, for people with all kinds of、um, disabilities. Hmm. Um. 然后他 ，OK， 呃，然后他也会说到就是一些就是跟儿童或者青年精神健康有关的那些服务，这些呢就不不只是给自闭症的那些。孩子或者青年人，其他的有有残障的也可能享受到这种服务。Go ahead. And、um, then, Susan, are、um, many of、um, the people today? Do they have children that are like over eighteen or or twenty, or are they tend mostly younger still? I I think most of them are like young. I think、yeah. it's teen. Youth, not、okay. not over eighteen. So the the keeping a dependence on a parent's policy really is for young adults who are like getting into their mid twenties. So I'm going to probably just skip over that,、um, and then I'll just talk about accessing treatment through insurance,、um, the effect of insurance coverage on education plans, and the short answer is that it shouldn't affect them.、Um, okay. And then lots、mm -hmm. of questions and impact. Okay. 那他因为也本来在这个 PowerPoint 里面还会包括到，就是呃那些二十岁以上的那些青年人，就是在家长怎么保留他们在家长的保险下面。但是他问了我一个问题，然后相信大家都很多孩子还没到那个年纪，他就会跳过这个。然后他也会。说到通过保险怎么取得那些就是治疗方式，然后就是保因为保险给付了那些服务对对 I E P 的影响，但是其实，在法律上其实规定了这是对你的孩子的 I E P 的那些服务是没有影响的。然后他就会谈到就是，就是你们有问题的就可以我呃问他，然后最后就是还有其他。相关的那些影响，他也会谈到。Go ahead. And again, if anyone has questions as we're going along,、um, type them into the chat box,、um, and 
I will try to answer them because if something isn't clear to you, it's probably not clear to anybody. 然后他就欢迎你们就是在那个打字 okay. This slide is meant to be complicated and it's not meant to be anything that you need to know. It's just to show you that the, the reason this can be so, so hard is that healthcare has become very political and lots of talk about it, but everybody agrees that it's very complicated. And then when you add on to that, trying to access treatment for um, a problem that is not diagnosed with an X-ray and is behavioral and hasn't been covered by insurance until relatively recent, it just gets more complicated. 医疗系统就是这么复杂的，因为它也很多就是经济的原因、政治的原因，引导这个就是本来医医疗保险已经非常复杂，然后再加上就是现在是还因为就是这个新的残障，然后从来也没有也不是说可以用其他就是医疗方
email 给他们，然后就是告诉他们你的问题，然后就是安、啊啊、告诉他们你能够谈话的时间，他们会尽可能的找他们的那些电话翻译去呃跟你联系回答您的问题。OK， so you know what we do in layman's terms is everybody has an insurance card on the right there.、Um, And you'll see all those arrows. Nothing on that tells you how to access autism treatment. And then, yeah,、mm -hmm. on the left is you know a magnifying glass because there are several very important laws and regs and lots of fine print. And so we try to help people understand, you know, what benefits they can and should be accessing through their insurance, and navigate any. You know barriers that they're going to encounter in that process. 那您看到像就像你们自自己的保险卡里面只是很简单告诉你就是包括哪些东西，但是其实在在另外一些比较详细的文件上面，你可以看到就是其实他们有一些文字已经叙述了，就是他们保险给付的东西，但是也都是很小的字。家长可能忽略了，或者在文件里面都没有。他们的中心主要的责任就是帮助家长去寻找相关的资料，跟客服就是在寻找这些资料过程中的那些困难。OK， so、uh, people's insurance generally falls into three major types of insurance. There's there probably Like eight more bubbles I could draw on this,、um, but the general three types are、um, public, which is the yellow, which are the Mass Health plans.、Um, but within Mass Health, there are many different types of plans. Then there is、um, private plans, which is usually through an employer or a plan that a family might purchase from the Health Connector,、um, and those fall into two different types, which、um, one are Called self-funded and one is called fully funded. 那其实保险呢，一般你看到就是这三个源泉，然后他就是看到在左边，呃，在您的右边的那个就是公共嗯医疗保险，也就是 Mass Health。其实，在 Mass Health 里面还有其他很细分的种类，然后其他的那两个就是通过就是 Health Connect 可以买到的一个就是。私人自费保险，另外一个就是私人全费保险。Go ahead.、Um, and the reason that these circles intersect is for many people, the way that they can truly access treatment is to have more than one type of insurance. And so people can either be in, you know, a a specific circle or a circle that is is layered with it with two different types of insurance. 那为什么有就是您看到有时候这三个圆圈都会有重叠的地方？因为一个人需要得到那些医疗服务的时候，可能不不能只依靠一种保险，有有一些可能就得就是可能就归纳到就是那些就是重叠的那个地方。Go ahead.、Um, so, are there any questions about this? Um, 有没有其有没有问题想要提问的？啊、um, 呃，那个私人自费跟私人全费有什么不一样呢 ？What's the difference between private self-funded and private fully funded? So, um, to a family, there shouldn't be a difference. It's it's how the employer is is managing their policy, but the reason. It becomes important is that the private fully funded plans are only are subject to the Massachusetts laws, including ERICA, and the self funded plans are not. 那其实对于家长来说，这两个就是没什么区别了。但是对雇主来说，可能就有一定的区别区别了。然后私人全费保险的话。它就是，呃，符合麻州的 ERICA 那个法律，但是如果私人私人自费保险的话，它可能就不符合呃，就是麻州那个法律的那个规定了。But what is really confusing is that 
if you are uh, a, a company that has a private self, a self funded plan, it tends to be large employers. They don't, they use the same insurance companies that sell the fully funded plans to administer their plans. So you could, there could be two people in this uh, group today who have an insurance card from Harvard Pilgrim or an insurance card from Blue Cross Blue Shield. The insurance cards look exactly the same, but in one case, it's a private fully funded plan. And in another case, it's a self-funded plan where Blue Cross is just administering the plan. 那就是可能呢就是您的雇主找就是负责处理保险的那个保险公司他可能又有就是全费的又有自费的那就是出现了可能两个人拿着同样的就是在同一个保险公司的那个保险卡但是他所得到的那些服务具或者就是给付的方式
psychological care and pharmaceuticals and psychiatric and testing, etc. 那其实 Erica 那。就不只是我们经常想到的，就是只是说 ABA 的那些服务，其他跟自闭症有关系的那些服务，其实他们都得给涵盖或者给付的，也就是包括了语言服务、其他精神、精神科，还有 OT， 其他的都得包含。Go ahead. And then the other thing that was really、um, very Big about Erica is that prior to that, sometimes insurance would cover treatment like speech, but they would only let you have like eight visits. And Erica has no visit limitations, no age limits, and no dollar caps. 那在 Erica 生生效之前，他就是说，保险公司可以规定，就是你可以得到服语言服务，但是。您得到的那些次数，他们就会限制了。但是在 Erica 生生效以后，也就变成了您要的门诊次数已没有限制，然后也没有了金额的限制，也没有了年龄的限制。So the reason those three circles are important is, you know, we passed this very big law. It only affected the blue circle. 那它是其实 Erica 最重要一个问题就是，当它生效以后，它对就是这个三个圆圈里面的蓝色的那个圆圈是影响最大的。Um, okay. But in the ten years since,、um, many of the Companies in the red circle have begun to include some of those benefits, particularly ABA, and Mass Health also、um, added ABA about five years ago to their plans. 那其实呢，在 Erica 生效以后，慢慢慢慢，它也影响到了第一个就是那个红色圈的自私人自费。很多时候，现在公那些医疗公司，它开始也。就是给付了其他就是相关的那些服务，像 ABA， 然后像 Mass Health 也在五年前开始给付 ABA 的服务。OK。Does anybody have questions？ 有没有问题 ？Um, so these are some of the questions that we sometimes get. Um. Can a child have Mass Health and also have primary private insurance? And which plan is primary? So they definitely can, but we get a lot of calls from people who are told by insurers or by providers or sometimes even by Mass Health that they can't have both. 那其实这里就是经常他们会呃听到的那些家长问的问题。就是我可不可以同时拥有 Mass Health 跟私人保险？答案是可以的。然后通常他们会以私人保险就是会作为主险。Go ahead.、Um, and、um, Arika does cover treatment for adults. And then、um, many of you may know about the Massachusetts Health Connector, and、um, some people、uh, use that to purchase policies, but It's a very specific type of policy that you have to purchase from them. 那其实 Erica 就可以包成人的自闭症治疗，然后很多现在家长也会通过 Help Connect 去买去买，就是那些包含自闭症服务的那些保险，但是会很就是规定到很特别的一种保险，有没有问题 ？Any question? Nope. So I'm going to drill a little bit into Mass Health.、Um, there are several different types of Mass Health,、uh, but you don't have to. You don't have to. If you're applying for Mass Health, you don't have to figure out what type of Mass Health to apply for.、Uh, Mass Health is one application, and then they look at 
um, different things, including your income, your age, uh, if someone has a disability, and your citizenship or immigration status, and you don't have to be a citizen to apply for MassHealth. Um, but the, all of that determines what type of MassHealth you have. 但是其实您作为家长您就不需要太了解究竟我是哪一种 Massau不一定要求你是美国公民才能申请的。然后，go ahead. So people with disabilities and autism, um, whoops, are um, usually eligible for mass health regardless of income. And like I said, we, sometimes people are told they can't have mass health if they have private insurance or vice versa. Um, many, many people contact mass health and are told that they don't qualify because they make too much money. Now,其实残障人士通常都会可以符合mass 有时候当你打到给MassHealth的时候,他们会说因为您的收入高或者其他的原因,据说你不符合的,其实这是不正确的。And um, for many people who meet certain income levels, MassHealth is free, but um, even though everyone is eligible regardless of income, um, if your income is above a certain level, and it's usually a pretty, um, pretty low level, you may be charged a premium and have to pay for it. 那其实如果就像刚才说了只要你是残障人士您都可以得到那个 um, and as I've mentioned, you're eligible even if you have other insurance. So the two um, um, that we, you know, the uh, families we help are either families who just have mass health insurance or have private insurance and then apply for mass health. Um, as secondary insurance to help with coverage for um, things their primary insurance doesn't cover. So if you had like a self-funded plan that didn't include ABA and that was a treatment that you needed, or if you have private insurance and it covers the treatments, but it's got co-pays and deductibles that you can't afford, you can get the MassHealth secondary insurance and that will cover a lot of those um, costs. 那通常最适合自闭就是自闭的人士的那些就是MassHealth 给付了那个门诊费或者其他可能就是那些药物的那些药费等等的那些费用 So I'm just curious if people might be willing to type into the chat you know what type of insurance they have whether they have from, from work or from mass health or both 那他就想问一下，你能你们能不能就是在那个打字打上去？你们现在有的是哪一种保险？就是MassHealth还是说私人保险再加MassHealth，或者只是有私人保险？How um, about they speak because whatever, they have, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 那你们告诉我，呃，Amy，就是你们有哪一种？ 
保险 m a s s e l 还是私人家 m a s s e l OK， 嗯，嗯 m a s s e l common health common health 吗 ？Common health m a s s e l with top break。Yes， 我系诶诶 ，Mass Hill 嗰个 Waffle 吧，呢啲轮胎嗰用嗰一个咯。Okay， Mass Hill， so it seems to be arranged。嗯，我只我我只有我的 key， 我的那个小的那个有，其他的没有。我哋嗰个咧都系诶 Mass Hill。So Kobe only for Kobe's family, it feels like only Kobe have both yeah. insurance. Yeah. So that's typical. So like um, the family may have insurance through an employer, and then Kobe has Mass Health as secondary insurance. That would be Common Health. 那他就说比较正常、啊，通常就是像科比那样，就可能您在您雇主那里拿到一个、嗯，没有没有没有，全家都没有。No, she doesn't have any, uh, employee employer funded insurance. So, do the parents have an insurance coverage? 我们那你，嗯，你说我们在。Healthy Conductor 买了保险，然后呢，小的两个小的就有，呃、uh, ，Mass Health Family Assistant 那个最小的那个 Common Health， 大的那个 Com 呃、uh, Family Assistant。哦、oh, ，OK， so both parents get their insurance from Health Connector， and she has two kids， the older one ha only has。Family assistant. The younger one have a、uh, common health. And um, is the younger one um the child who has on the autism spectrum? Yes. It, mm -hmm. So um, like I said, you know, you fill out one application for Mass Health, and they look at things. And what I think may have um. Been determined in your case is that based on your family's income and other things, you qualified for Mass Health Family Assistance, which is probably something that maybe you pay a premium for.、Um, but、um, I presume you might have filled out a disability supplement for Kobe, and that qualified him for the Mass Health Common Health, which is a little more、um, comprehensive in the benefits, a little more generous benefits because of his disability. 那他猜就是可能你们都是因为申请 m e s s e l 的时候都是填同一个表，然后因为可能你们有一定的收入，所以你们就只能符合 m e s s e l Family Assistant。然后在填完表以后，你也继续填了一份，就是为 Kobe 填了一份就是残障的那个额外资资料的那个表。所以令到他符合了，就是拿到 Common Health 的那个资格，然后他就能拿到，就是 Common Health 比较完善的那个保险去，啊、呃，给付其他就是他需要的那些服务。那如果分开填的话，他会不会拿到 Mass Health Standard 还是不会 ？Can I apply separately and get? Get Kobe the mass house standard. Um. Well, not really, because because um, mass health determines what thing. But the benefits in mass health standard and the benefits in mass health human health are pretty much the same. The reason that he has mass health common health is because、uh, your income is higher than what would qualify him for mass health. Human health. 那其实你申请也不一定说要分开申请的，因为呢，其实 Mass Health Standard 跟 Mass Health Common Health 的那些，就是给付的那些服务的种类都是几乎是相同的，因为你家庭的收入比可能比较高一点，所以你们家。
就只能符合 family assistant， 然后他就符合，因为你们有了 family assistant， 所以 Kobe 就只能符合 mass help common help。OK， 对 ，OK， 嗯、um, ，this is going to get really confusing， but sometimes families get letters from mass help that say all kinds of things like。You're being terminated, or things that don't make sense. If people reach out to us, we can sometimes have people、um, at Mass Health help us kind of check what someone's status is, or、um, you know, figure out if there's a problem, what needs to be done. 那其实现在说到一个问题，就是你们有时候可能收到很多不同的 mass help 的信，甚至有时候他们会说你的资格已经被取消了。但是其实如果您收到这些信的时候，你觉得不明白或者其中有问题的话，也欢迎您打电话给他们的中信，因为他们跟 mass help 有合作，所以有时候他们能帮你查找到。关于你这个 case 里面的嗯一些就是资料。So, you know, when people come to us with all different things, you know, what you're telling me about your family situation, and sounds to me ninety percent you're probably in the right category, but a lot of times we'll get a call that doesn't make sense. The category doesn't make sense. It's not giving access to things. That's when we will. Check the status and just try to make sure that things are in place. 那可能很多时候家长打给他的时候，九十个 percent 你都是在呃那个你应该有的那个在的那个种类里面，但是有时候也会就是那些种类可能就是能达到达到的那些服务可能不太符合，他们就可以在这方面跟进 Mass Health， 就是看一下究竟。呃，里面发生了什么问题 ？So, um, Susan, does anybody here have、um, employer insurance and then Mass Health as secondary? 那有在这里面有没有家长是有 Mass 啊，又有私人保险，就是雇主付的那个私人保险，又有 Mass Health 的？有冇雇主俾嘅保险同埋自己诶个诶 mass out 一齐嘅？我的是这样子的。诶 ，let's feel。嗯 ，so if you do you know pay for an employer policy you know through a deduction in your payroll and then you also have mass health for your child,、um, you may be eligible for the mass health. Premium program,、um, and that can be a very, very valuable benefit because it it sometimes reimburses a family for the whole cost of their、um, private insurance. 那其实这样说，如果您是有自己就是雇主的那个保险，你雇主与就是你每个月的那些保，就是那些。呃，给付你自己私人保险的那些费用，从你工资单上面扣的话，其实利用这个保费协助的话，他就能够帮你给付，就是一定的那些你所付出的那些保付，就是买私人保险的那些费用。And so I won't go into it a whole lot because I don't think it applies to too many people, but um. You know, this is one of these things that some people think is sort of like too good to be true.、Um, and so, if you have families that could benefit from this, you know, definitely work with them and put them in touch with us because we'll help them. 那有时候他就因为在这里，大部分的家长都没有这种就是两个保险的，他就不会花太多时间在。这里面讲，但是有时候这样说，家长就是觉得哇，好像天天上掉下来的馅饼。然后其实这是呃 ，Vassal 就是我安排的一种，就是给付的一种福利。那其实如果有需要的话，你也可以就是打电话给 Amy 他们，然后他们会教你怎么去填表、去申请或者其他就是关于这方面的疑问，也可以找他们。
And so I've explained that when you apply for MassHealth, um, you, you fill out one application and they determine the type of MassHealth. And that's all true and doesn't always get into the right type, but it's usually they determine. The MassHealth premium assistance is a separate benefit that you have to apply for separately after you have MassHealth. So it doesn't automatically come. And so if, especially Susan, if you're working with families who have this, mm -hmm. you wanna make sure they know about it because we work with many families, even mm -hmm. many families who speak English, who have mass health for many years and don't even mm -hmm. realize they should apply for this. Okay. Now, actually, Amy, teaching that what you say, you may just take a premium assistant, take a bow face to the watch is a bush. 就是自动的，当你一申请 Mass Health 的时候，就会你立刻就是有这个资格。这是另 Mass Health 是一份表，然后申请这个保费协助的，就是你得填另外一份表。然后很多不但是我英文有一点困难的家庭，其他英文的家庭，他们都以为他是自动而然的跟着他的 Mass Health， 其实这是不正确的。So some of the questions that we get um, is, is MassHealth free for people with disabilities? And the answer is no. They still look at your income. And for a, a child, they look at the parent's income. And so it may be um, that you do have to pay for it. Now, MassHealth is not free. 他就会根据收入来决定你需是否需要付给付保费或者给多少的。那可能如果你那个残障人士是成年的，他可能看他的收入；如果是孩子的话，他就看家庭的收入。Um, and then we get questions: Does MassHealth cover ABA the same way that Arika does?、Um, and the answer is yes, but MassHealth only covers ABA until age 21. MassHealth就是Arika里面的那些规定有没有就是是相同的答案是他就是他MassHealth只能给付到孩子达到21岁 Amy, I have a quick question. What sure. if, uh, a, let's say, a, a adult with autism and he has his own mass health standard, can he still eligible to get ABA or because mass health only cover until 21? So that means even though he has autism, he has mass health. Uh, but because and he will he will not get ABA. Am I correct? So unfortunately, that is the case. Um, there is some laws that are trying people are trying to pass to extend that coverage, but mm -hmm. um, currently it isn't. So the only option for there's sort of two options. Some adults, you know, who get adult services through like DDS. Um, access ABA, get some, you know, help with ABA through that. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other is um, the only way to do that is to purchase a private policy on top of um, the mass health, um, but that often will cost, you know, several hundred dollars a month. Okay. Now, I just asked a question, and the question is about the 21-year-old child who has his own mass health. Then, according to this question, it means that after 21 years old, they don't have ABA, because mass health is only given to 21 years old. Amy said that now it's the same situation. Then, there are some people 就是其他的机构人士在倡导，就是把这个年纪再上调一点。但是这一刻，如果是以这个情况的话，他会建议要不，就是你通过你呃 DDS 的那个不，就是部门里面的一部分经费去
去给付那个 ABA 的服务，或者第二个方式就是你自己就是那个有 autism 的那个成人自己去付费去买一个私人保险，然后那个保险会包含 ABA 服务的。Go ahead. That answer. Right. So these are two questions. Um, if a child has mass health, do you have to maintain them on employer insurance if you have that? And the answer is yes. Um, and then mm -hmm. the second is if mass health coverage expires. And so mass health doesn't expire, but they send usually every year uh, a form to redetermine the eligibility. And if people don't send those forms back, the mass health is sometimes terminated. Okay, 那他就是说这里简单的问题,第一个就是问我孩子有 mass health,我是否一定要把它放到我自己的私人保险里面?答案是你必须得这样做。然后第二个问题就是 mass health的城堡期会不会届满？然后他就说不会，但是 mass health会定期去去发一些就是表格表格让你去填，去决定你是否还有那个资格。你一定要就是把那些 mass health的表格填好，交回到 mass health内里，要不然他们就会终止你的那个资格。嗯。and so, you know, currently during COVID, uh, mass health is not terminating people. 那在因为这段冠状病毒的期间, uh, mass health就暂时不会就是中就是取消任何人的资格. Um, and they're also working very hard to help people who find themselves needing to apply for mass health, like because they've lost a job. Um, to help people do that without as much um, work as it, as it can sometimes be. Okay. 那他们现在MassHealth也在因为这段特殊的时期在帮那些失业的人士去申请MassHealth,希望就是不要因为这个特殊的情况而令到更多人没有了保险。so the only other thing I'd say is if people have trouble with mass health or they have questions more about their specific, you know, mass health and is it the right kind, they can reach out to us and we will try to help them. 然后他们也说了，如果你对mass 嗯, so Susan, um, you know, many people uh, answered that, you know, they had mass health with Tufts or well-force care. That's still mass health, and it's usually mass health standard. It just uh, shows, you know, the different plans that families with mass health might have within mass health. So, you know, it's it's kind of like, you know, you're getting a a computer from the Apple store, but you may get an iPad or you may get an iMac or you may get a MacBook Air. It's just a different type of um, network that you access your care through. Uh, and then, 管理或者帮像您这样的消费者去直接就是拿到那些医疗服务的，其实他们都是MassHealth里面的那些保险，只是管理的公司有所不同，就像他刚才举的例子，在Apple你去买Apple有很多不同的种类或者产品那样。so there were a lot of questions. Um, this happened about two years ago, and it, it has pretty much settled down now, but if people still have questions, they should let us know. 那其实刚才那个表就是,或者现在在看的就是两年前,就是很多家长都是有问, 
有疑问的那些，就是啊，关于这一方面的更更改变的。So I I have a question about um how many families here are accessing ABA through their Mass Health? 那你们有多少家长是通过 Mass Health 拿到 ABA 服务的？我，还有我，我有，我有，我也是，我也是。我我不一样，我之前是那个什么，呃，不跨不休，然后那个 cancel， 现在就转到 mass health， come on health。So right now， 我的也是，呃，因为我的公司不不提供 ABA 服务。我们的私人保险不提供 ABA 服务。So the parent just said because the health insurance her company has won't it won't cover the ABA service. That's why they have to access ABA service through Mass Health. Exactly. Yep.、Um, and so when you do that, you know, Mass Health covers ABA, but they do it through Three different networks, which are are listed in red here, which is、um, Tufts, MBHP, and Beacon. And so, when you go back to this crazy slide, depending on which of these turquoise plans you're in,、um, determines which of the three、uh, Beacon, MBHP, or Tufts you met,、um, access your your ABA through. And then for a few, one very few, there is some that is with Optum, but that's just like one or two. 那其实呢，他就说了，现在 Mass Health 只有 MBHP、Beacon 还有 Tough， 他们是有就是直接管理 ABA 的那些服务的那些就是服务的。那可能刚才他也回去了，就是您得看一下你自己的保险，然后。是不是在里面的？然后又看到回来看你自己里面的那些保险，是不是其中那些就是这里面的那些保险？然后其实还有就是一两个就是 Optum 的，它也是有一两个就是管理的那个像就是小的在在分类的那个保险里面，它是包 ABA 的。So just、um, checking in is is this Susan is this clear and am I going too fast or too slow? Ah,、uh, 你觉得现在的速度是 OK 还是说太快太慢 ？I think it's OK. OK. Yes. Okay. So this is something new that we're really excited about.、Um, has anybody used this website, Maba Access? 嗯，有没有人用过这个网站 ？So take a picture of this this slide. 把它这个记录下来，或者照一个照片。Um, and if you are looking for a behavioral health provider, not just ABA, but you can do it through ABA. You can go to this website and you can search members. You can search to find people who. Have openings in your area and can work with you. 那其实你也可以上这个网站，不得呃去寻找那些行为的那些帮，就是辅助的那些服务。然后他他这个网站里面不单只有 ABA 的啊，呃，他这个网站不但不只是有 ABA 那些服务提供者，还。还有其他就是，你可能需要找的那些，就是要找的那些服务者的那些信息都在里面的。And so this has been around for a while, but it was only last year that they started including ABA in the database. 然后以前这个网站呢有很多资料，但是就没有 ABA 的那些资料。在去年的时候，他就也把 ABA 的那些资资料或者服务提供者的资料放到他们的网站里面
Um, and if anybody wants at the end, I can try to show you how to do a search. Um, and they do have uh, a translate button, so you can do this in Chinese. 那如果大家有时间的话，他可以就是在讲座结束了以后，就是教大家怎么去那个网站去搜索那些ABA的那些服务者，然后他们的网站也有中文的翻译。Susan, do you think it would be helpful if I tried demonstrating this now? The, Amy, how many slides do we have? Because right now it's 4.30. Well, almost. we have some, but I don't know if they're all that. I, I can go through those pretty quickly. Yeah, why don't we go through all those quickly and then we come back to this okay. website. So this is how you go through it. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you uh, how to do that. Uh-huh. 他就是说，就是怎你该怎么去搜索那在网站那个网站搜索那些资料。但是一会儿有时间的话，他会个呃教大家怎么去搜索。Go uh, ahead. You know what? I'm gonna maybe spend about ten more minutes, and then I'll come, go back and 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 show the MABA access site because I think it's better than talking about it to, to show it to people. 啊，那他就会在花十分钟说完后面的那些，就是啊那些内容，然后他就会会回来这里教大家怎么去那个网站去搜索那些药的资料。OK. Uh, okay. Um, and so, Susan, do most of the families here have are children on the autism spectrum? Correct. Okay, so this is for services. Um, I'm gonna really skip over this part because um, this is very, very helpful, mainly for people who have needs for behavioral treatments and other things for children who don't have autism. If they have autism, they're gonna probably access it through, you know, ABA, through Arika or Mass Health. So I'm just gonna skip over this, but in your work, you know, if you find families, we should talk about that. Um, okay. It's many of the same, things they just work a little bit differently because it's different different needs. Um, but one of the really important things to know is there is a, a mobile crisis intervention service um, mm -hmm. available to anybody and it's actually being enhanced now just due to COVID. So if families have children with autism and they're in crisis, they can call um, the mobile crisis line and get some, some specific help. Yeah, isn't it that we usually call CBHI? So under Mass Health, it's called CBHI, and now it's oh, okay. expanded to private health insurance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 那刚才他们有几个保险的话，就是说那个服务呢，就是一般是给没有自闭的那些家庭的，因为。啊，我刚才问了Amy，就是这是不是叫CBHI？他说其实在MassHealth里面，他们叫CBHI。然后因为现在私人保险也也得给付，就是我以前我们所了解CBHI里面的那些服务服务也，他们也把名字改了。然后
，但是现在一年他们就把他那个服务增强了，就是他们会连。如果你孩子是有自闭症的话，他们可能就是跟你的 ABA 那些服务者，还有其他的那些到家的那些服务人员一块，就是给予你的帮助，就是，呃，现在已经把他们的服务改善了很多。在以前的话，他可能你打给他们，他们一般就只是叫你去送孩子去急诊。And、so this is again, this is all talking about the. You know what we're calling it is CBHI for private insurance, and I just don't think it's that applicable. So I'm going to skip that.、Um, and again, this is the CBHI for private insurance. 那他他刚才不断跳的那些都关于 CBHI 的。然后我可能在这个讲座完了以后，有谁需要这个 PowerPoint 的话，我可以就是 email 给他。I just ask the parent if they still need the information about the CBHI. I'm willing to, with your permission, to send them your PowerPoint so they can have the information if they need it. Absolutely,、um, and they can reach out. So,、um, and so this again is about children who are in their mid twenties. Typically, when they turn twenty-six, they can't stay on a parent's policy anymore, and disabled dependents are able to stay on a parent's policy. This is just. Something to keep in mind, you know, when you're working with adults.、Mm -hmm. And that's all disabilities. That's not just autism. Uh, 那如果你孩子是有残障，然后是呃二十多岁的话，你也通常可以把它保留到你自己的私人保险那里。嗯，那它是适用所有有残障的那些人的。So this is. You know, generally, a question like "Where do I start?" If you're trying to access ADA,、um, Susan, they're, they're reaching out to you or they're reaching out to us,、um, and we have, as you know,、um, a lot of fact sheets about how to、um, access ADA that have been translated.、Um, but this is sort of a general thing, which is, you know, first talk to your doctor because you know what might be right for Kobe. Could be very, very different than for、um, you know Declan or Emma. It's there's no one size fits all. So you need to kind of get a recommendation from your doctors about what they want, and then you find an ABA provider who should be taking care of the insurance and the authorizations and all that, especially if they are Mass Health. 那其实 Amy 她建议呢，因为如果你在找 ABA 服务的时候，最好的就是跟您的医生。讨论一下，因为您的医生比较了了解您的孩子的需要。像每个孩子可能虽然都是有自闭症，但是他们可能需要都不一样。适合 o 科比的可能不适合其他，像 Emma 这的他的。所以最好他是建议你先跟一个就是医生谈一下，然后。当你找到 ABA 那些服务公司的时候，他们也他们就会。安排他们就是跟保险打沟通的那些事情，像填表、得到他们授权给你家庭服务的那些细节，都应该由 ABA 的那些服务者来搞定。呃呃，苏婶，我先出去一下哈。Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Um. And、I'll, again, this doesn't really apply to people who don't have private insurance, so I'm going to skip that.、Um, so this is a question that we get a lot, which is, "Does any insurance affect my IEP?" And Susan, you probably work very closely with educational advocacy and services.、Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what I just want to say is that before Olivia. And before Mass Health covered ABA, families、um, could request ABA from their schools, and it sometimes took advocacy. But they could get ABA in school, which many get. They can get ABA at home through their IEPs, and nothing in all of these laws and all of these coverages changes a school's requirement to cover that. 嗯，那其实 Amy 
，这一个就是说到的问题就是。那我现在保险已经给付了 ，ABA 服务它会不会影响到以前我跟学校拿的那些 ABA 服务？其实我们一块也很多时候了解到，也了解到法律已经规定了这些是不会影响，就是学校答应给你安排的那些 ABA 服务，甚至如果学校是答应给了那些到家 in home 的 ABA 服务。如果就算以后你有了保险给付的那种 ABA 服务，学校也应该继续提供，就是他们答应给的那些 in home ABA 服务。So, um, you know, I know you do an amazing job at the federation helping parents understand their educational rights. So, if any parent is, you know, going to an IEP meeting and being told that they have to go through insurance for this or you know, especially at this time with COVID is going to a school and saying, I am really struggling, I need ABA. And if schools are just saying, no, we don't do that, or you have to go to insurance, um, I assume that you do educational rights and IEP mm -hmm. information in your training. They should get a hold of you and, and work with mm -hmm. you because there's nothing in the, these coverages and these laws that mean that a school doesn't have to cover this if, if that's what a family needs. 那其实 Amy 也继续强调了，如果你的学校已经答应给，或者他们觉得你孩子是需要 ABA 服务的，尤其在这一段特殊的时期，他们会说啊，我没办法提供那些。其实你可以更好的，就是找我，然后我会继续看怎么去帮助你去。得到你该得到从学校的那些服务，学校也不应该就是以此为借口去说不提供他们认为孩子需要或者你就是孩子必须要的那些 ABA 服务。And so you know, I'm a a parent first, and I have the scars from you know some pretty fierce battles, and we want to help families. So this is um, just, as I said, we do this work because um, it's our job, but we do it because it's a passion and we want to help families. 那其实 Amy 她也是一个家长，她她也明白到，作为家长，他们就是努力的，就是怎么去为自己孩子争取那些权利。然后你你们有什么问题的话，也他们会尽可能的帮助你们。Um, and so now the most important slide is, is how to find us. And um, I first want to acknowledge, as I said, there's no charge for our services. Um, that's because we you know, work very hard to get funding to cover those. Um, so I want to acknowledge our funders and then show people our contact information. Mm -hmm. 那因为他们提供的,的原因，他们能够提供免费的服务，就是因为他有以下。个就是在右边的那些机构提供给他们他们资金去继续免费的提供服务给家长，然后所以他在这里特别要感谢就是在右边的那些机构。So um, I am gonna now go back to um, certainly answer any questions and then go back to the MABA access slide. And um, try to navigate through that. And Susan, I'm going to ask your guidance to help me because I'm going to try to do it using the Chinese translate button. Sure. 那他首先就是说，如果你这一课有问题的话，欢迎提问。然后他也会就是教大家怎么上去那个 MABA 那个 access MABA access 那里去教大家怎么去找你们要找的资料。这一课有没有问题 ？Okay. So. This is the home screen for MABA Access. And please type into the chat or speak up. Um, so you can see there's a thing that says select language. Mm -hmm. Can you click and open it? I clicked on the website. Um, Maybe you have to stop sharing the slide. I'm sorry. We, we're still seeing the slide instead of the website. OK. So now I'm going to share my screen. Um, thank you. Um, Can you guys see this now? Yes. Okay, great. 
那你看到就是你点击那个那个网，嗯、呃，就是那个地址，然后他打开的就是第一页就是这样的。Okay, so now I'm gonna go into something that's gonna be even harder than low than uh getting this meeting started, which I apologize. So you select the language. I'm gonna ch should I select Chinese simplified? Yes. Let me see if they have like Mandarin or anything else too. Yeah. It, it just simplifies traditional. Okay. Yeah, well, Chinese like only it, two written like Chinese. Okay. Okay. So Chinese simplified. Mm -hmm. Now you can go to the top of 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 the top the top of the top so okay. uh -huh. so I am flying blind here, guys. Okay. <laughs> you can learn some Chinese. <laughs> sure, okay. So I'm going to select the service. Okay, ABA. Uh, your... ABA. Okay, so I'm going to put in ABA. Okay, now I'm going to put in uh, the age. So Put an age that you wanted me to put in. 那他就会把年龄写上去。How A? A, okay. Now I think this is the location type. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it the, the town? Yeah, but you can put in a zip code. Um, let me just say, um, there's a place to put in a zip code, which might be this. Yeah, yeah. The, I'm going to put yes. in a zip code. 那就是下面，那你可以把你的邮编填上去。So give me a zip code or I can put in mine. Uh, zero two one two nine. Okay, and then you say how many miles within? So I'm gonna say like twenty miles because many times it's like home services. So I'll put twenty miles in and then I start. Yeah. 那你就可以就是把就是你你你家有多人远的那个服务者那些填上去，他就挑选了二十，然后点击那个搜索的那个按键。Okay, so Susan, I just want to check here. Um, is this zip code or this one? Do you know what? Is this a town? The 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 four Chinese characters is the zip code. The one only have one Chinese character is the town. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the zip code one. Thank you, okay. Okay, so this is giving you the name oh. of the provider. Mm -hmm. um, this is some of the age ranges. Um, this is the city that they are in, but again, many times you want them to come to your your home. Um, this is the available capacity. So where, where they have zero openings may or may not help. Mm-hmm. 然后还有他们的能够就是现在有多少能够接受多少个就是ABA的那些case的那些就在里面了。如果你看到他们只是零的话，也就是说他们没有open，也就是说你不需要打打电话给他们，他们不能帮你。So the six and twelve is at the age. Or, or is it something special underneath the company name is all six through twelve, six through twelve. Uh, What's that mean? I think that um because we put the age range of eight years old. So oh, okay. Openings they have for children ages six to twelve. Okay, okay, I got it. And now we, we'll go. We could go back and try to do one for you know a four year old or a you know ten year old, a you know fifteen year old. Um, okay. I think what you just want to see, this is really powerful because, you know, there are all these lists of providers and you call and they all have wait lists. This is a, a great way to search and maybe have a better chance of finding someone who can really help. The, 
Only thing I would also note is that because of COVID, many providers have a lot more openings now than they had before, especially oh, okay. if the family is able to do something remotely. Okay. 那我刚才问六到十二那个是年纪来的，我们一会儿可以就是回去那里再再再选服务四岁或者十五岁的那些，然后他也看到了，就是他也告诉了一个比较新的情况，就是因为这段时间很多ABA的公司他们要比以前有
anything? I'm going to go back to my main screen. Um, mm -hmm. so let me stop the share and then I'll share my, I'll just put up the um, presentation just so that um, we have that, just so you have our um, last slide. 那他就说他可以再待一会儿，你们有没有任何就是在关于就是刚才说的那个讲座里面就是有问题要提问艾米的？你可以就是说，然后我会帮忙翻译，有没有？ 没有。Okay, well, Susan. I can't thank you enough for organizing this. And um, again, I apologize for the, the technical difficulties at the beginning, but it, it's a pleasure to meet all of you on this warm, sunny afternoon. And, you know, I just hope everybody stays safe and uh, we get through this time as mm -hmm. quickly as we can. And we're all back seeing each other in person soon. Um, yes. In the meantime, we're, we're here for you and, and we're happy to help you. And, I just want everyone to to take care. Okay. Now, Amy, I just want to thank everyone who participated in today's meeting. And I hope that everyone can enjoy the remaining time to enjoy the beautiful weather. We hope that everything will be better and that everyone can be able to face to face with one another. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Please, please, please. Thank you. Bye bye. Out. Uh.